Hello there, I'm Tiger Snark and this is Hogwarts Legacy episode 13 where I'm playing on hard mode as a Gryffindor student. Uh, last time we helped Mr. Moon with his demigods problem and now I'm not 100% sure where we're going. Uh, let me have a look at the map. Have you found any more of those ghastly demigods statues? I've been standing right here the whole time. You, you no, we no, I haven't. We are fortunate to have a student brave enough. Huh? Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? Is that a how offensive? Ghost? Next. Fine, a genius. Happy Possibly. now. Oh. But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. This disillusionment charm is superb. I'm stealthy as a demiguise. I'm in. Uh, oh, what in Merlin? Where are you going? What a stupid thing to kill... do. It's not stupid. It's How the dare. most stupid thing anyone has ever done. Well, if you'd look where you're going instead of barging about. You were literally saying you're invisible. What? What are you doing? No, that, I'm just that's... trying to. Invisibless. No, that's not Stop it. Stop it. Uh, You'll make it. Fine. Success! <laughs> You're right! It's superb! You blithering moon mind, that's my essay for sure! Abandoned potions of the Middle Ages as compared to the Black Plague? No, the one on invisibility. Oh, well, you'll do well on that one then. <clears throat> Blasted charm. Hmm. It despawned, dude. Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna find it. It's, it's gone now. Oh, let's go watch what's gonna happen here. Probably not think good. Sticks like this. What? Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours. I think. You think? It didn't before. That other boy was like it for a week. A week? I I don't feel well. Oh, stop fretting. We'll have you with Nurse Blaney in no time. <gasps> I've just realised. What? What is it? I have an essay I need to finish for bins. Two inches. Merlin's. I haven't done mine either. Uh. What? <sighs> don't leave me here. Did you memorize the dates of magical discoveries and goblin rebellions? Not yet, no. Where are you going? You can't leave me here. You'll be fine. I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Ah! Billy Wigsting, you'll be a week like that. Sounds like you've had previous experience. <laughs> oh, these little set pieces are entertaining, to say the least, but I think they might get a bit much if you see the same one over and over again. I'm surprised everyone's so chilled with you just being out so late at night. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see here. Confirmed. Hmm. Did that do anything? Oh shit. Okay. So. Oh. One is a triangle. Okay, this one, that X thing is gonna be four. That is going to be two. That is going to be one. Which it is. And then... Probably should have just tried to memorize it, but anyway, three. Oh, I switched that around. But this one's supposed to be three. Oh. You know what? We can practice flying near spies whenever. Let's just go and have a look down here. Okay, well, that was a short detour. Hold on. Can I go here? Come on. You can clearly go there. What the hell? 
Yay, invisible walls. Don't you just love them? Yeah, let me know in the comments if you love invisible walls. We can probably take off from here, though. Oh, balloons. Just gonna line us off around here and hopefully not miss any. Okay, we're gonna do this all in one go. Turn around and go. Oh, oh. And a quick handbrake turn. Nice. I mean, not so sure it was that nice, but it was alright. I got him all in one go. What? Oh, hello. Okay. We're going to be doing it with this one too. We'll start. Turn about over here. Alright. Wait, what, what are you doing? What's happening here? Why can't I go further up? What? That's weird. Alright then. Okay. One, two, three, go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Marvel at I've my flying skills. Wee! Oh, what? <laughs> wow! That was close. <laughs> Real quick, don't go down. Bye. Oh, crashed to another thing. I'm crashing into a lot of things. Now it's crashing to balloons. Oh, I messed that up. That's it. How many balloons? You know, it's a good thing that these things don't hurt when you fly into them. Oh, didn't mean to press shift. Just fly along the path here. Okay, just get no, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, smooth, perfect, yep, yeah, there we go, perfect landing. Alright, I've flown around. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Nope. Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. All right. Oh, wait a minute. And stop. Oh. I'm messing up that part there. Like the little tight corners. The hairpins for the racing fans. Arresto momentum slows the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effect the spell will have on it. Alright. Very good. I recommend practicing. You recommend practicing in your classroom over here. Alright, we'll do. In your office, I mean. Probably in office. As much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. 
A resto moment. So that's it. Keep it up. Well, they are arresto momento, I mean, momento, pimento? No, one of those. So we're going to try and do Professor Garlic's assignment now, and we need to acquire and use a venomous tentacular, which we already have, but we need Mandrake. And so I think if we go to the Magic Neep or... What's he called? The Neep Man. Magic Neep, that's the one. We... Sold that last Clementine, had you chasing butterflies all through the forest. She's quite a one, that girl. Greetings! Oh. Please, take your time looking about. Okay, I, apparently if I just walk close to him, I interrupt him anyway. So when I stop talking, it didn't matter. Anyway, I'm sure he'll be able to help us. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. I think I've bought you out now, mostly. Except for your ingredients. He wasn't able to help us with a mandrake. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like Magic Neep can actually help me, so I guess I'll go to another store over here, which might be a little bit more promising. We can only hope. Oh, what's happening here? You're painting? Yeah, it's okay, so you have to be so fancy that you have to float yourself. Not only is your canvas and paintbrush floating, but you yourself are floating. What's the log for then? <sighs> Show off. Can you believe these wizards just trying to bring magic into literally everything they're doing, including sitting? And we're here at Dogweed and Death Camp. Nice. Okay, let's go in. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way... Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. <laughs> oh now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well... Let's say we show you some of what's available. Mandrake. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Well, I know, just calm down, guy. You're cute. She didn't see a thing either. It's just a magical door, don't worry about it. And for all our stealth. Alright. Now we need to go and pick a fight somewhere. Okay, if I keep on going this way, I should be able to get out of this area. Revelio. The proprietor of this abandoned shop is said to have used a shrieking, a shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation ended up, for all intents and purposes, banishing it. <laughs> a shrieking charm. Oh, it's another one.
Lumos. Okay, it's next to a wall with some boxes. Could be down there. Or maybe this way? Hey. There's a butterfly here. Hello. Lumos. There you go. Back where you belong. We probably have the other one close to by, close by the shop. Let's just spend a few moments having a look for it, shall we? I mean, there's smoke up there. Let's have a look up there. Oh, come on, keep going. Come on, mountain goat, your way up. You can do it. Alright, let me go try somewhere else. Yeah. Okay, well I can go up there. Being a mountain goat. Hello. Oh, you. Lumos. Yes, come with me. Hogsmeade, Oop. here I come. Yeah, Hogsmeade, here I come. Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Such a wee bairn giving a thrash into a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. You keep mentioning it. Thank you. Oh look, more balloons. I didn't always like a polite battle. Got him. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to be exploring here. But I really want to go and sort out this assignment. What happened here? Oh, a cat. Hello. You're a cutie. Hmm. Alright, then let's have a look to see what's in here. You know, I'm busy looking for a fight. But I might be able to just find one if I do a side quest. Oh, hello, you've got quite a few instruments now, don't you? I've acquired what muggles call a loot. <laughs> Marvelous, isn't it? Hi. Spare a uh, nut, a sickle, a galleon? It doesn't look like I can give him any more. Do I have to go right up to you? Interact? I, I'm, instruments are expensive, you know. I, I'm pressing F. Doesn't work. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Mm, this sounds like something where I can pick a fight. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. 
No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Baldov dared to stand up to them and ended up in St Mungo's. I was simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Baldov end up in St Mungo's? <sighs> Baldov had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Baldolf refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Nice of you to stop by. Right behind the cow. No, no, get away. I've never seen a sword like it. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. <gasps> Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. What are you doing here? Stop coming this way. You're supposed to all huddle up. Wizards are running scared, <laughs> as they should be. Just sneaking about. Don't mind me. And you will regret coming here. Oh. Come on, I went and dodged that. What? I won't rest. I've forgotten what my buttons are. There we go. What? No! Keep forgetting. Oh, no. Come on, you can do better than this. Oh, come on. Protego! <sighs> Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. One camp down, one more to go. That was sketchy. Could have done that way better. I think there's just too much time between me playing this and other games. Playing other games. Right, let's have a look here. Is there anything? Revelio. Nothing really. Hmm. 
really nothing of value. Okay, then I guess I'll clear the other goblin encampment. But that's one down. Now let's use Venomous Tentacular for the other one. How nice of you to stop by. And then now. Take them all. Run the other way when they see me. Humans do every time. Assignment's all finished. Ready to fight. Oh crap! Alright. Oh crap. I won't rest not quiet enough. Why am I stuck in here? Oh, because there was a fireplace in the way. Well, now though. Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. Both camps cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Yeah, she will. The second one went a little bit better, but I'm still not quite as fluid in combat as I'd like to be. Revelio. Seems like they were having quite a feast in here. Okay, light that fire. There's really nothing here. Ugh. Oh, what's that? Who lived here, I wonder? Interesting. Oh. What? In there? Rebellion. Okay, let's see here. A bad idea to try and run and jump. Oh, wait. This is gonna be a bit overkill, so I'll just have to switch that out for a second. Incendio! There we go. And then use Confringo back there. Nice. Interesting. What's that? Nice. What? Just a light shot? Okay, I think it's probably like a Leviosa or something. Leviosa. Oh. <laughs> Press the momentum, maybe? Arrest the momentum. Levioso. No. Do I just have to? Apparently, destruction was the way. 
the same with this. Ooh. You'll be fine, don't worry. Just do it. Get, get, get in there. Go on. Hold on. Why was it so difficult for me to fall down a hole? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hello. That solves that. Okay, camera forcing me to look that way. Oh, nice. Got to upgrade. Uh, more chests. Oh, indigo saucer I had. Uh, see, that also makes sense to slide down. Not that tiny little slippery thing right in the star. This place has seen better days. Has it now? I'm going to go and have a chat over here. Hi there. Very fancy, but why not just keep it open the whole time so you're at least blocked from the elements? Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? I like to explore. Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. Nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed <laughs> here to sell. Babcock. Now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Oh, a broom? A sky scythe? An agile broom for the flyer who wants to look impressive when demonstrating their myriad skills. Hmm... That's cool. That's been a pleasure. Yes, thank you. Let's return to play. He's still playing. Come and listen. I've acquired what I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? Magic. I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Oh. Sincerely. Stench of the dead, so you basically have a rotting head. Thank you for passing through. Cool. Now we should be able to return to Professor Go Professor Garlic. Chips in the hat, if you please. Okay. During the day. Well, it's not daytime right now. I guess we'll just sleep. They're all suspiciously quiet. How wonderful to see you again. Yeah. Maybe I should... I'll keep on scrolling. That's any, I guess. Mm. 
Stop walking away. I need to talk. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Swish and flick. Okay. Let's see. It's going to be right click, left click, face here. Oh. That was close. The hairpin turns are tough. The levitation charm Wingardium Leviosa can levitate and move objects, control its position with your movement, and use FVQE to fine tune its rotation. FVQE? That's interesting. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. I mean, there's crates here too. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Oh, I mean... Okay, fine tuning. Professor Garlic. I pressed F. A moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely. But terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> a fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well... I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I don't really feel sorry for him, to be honest, because he kind of brought it on himself. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. And with that, I think we'll call it an episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. Here is a video from the algorithm and here's the entire series as a playlist. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.